May I begin by adding my own welcome and acknowledgement to all of those who've already been acknowledged. I won't go through that very long list again, but you are very warmly welcomed. And I thank you, each of our guests, for honouring us with our presence, with your presence, not my presence, your presence. <laughs> We're doing pretty well here, Bishop, aren't we? <laughs> I'd like to thank all of those who are responsible for this most magnificent liturgy tonight. And I would particularly like to thank Father Ron Peters for his uh, great support in having the uh, Mass here tonight. I'd like to particularly also mention uh, Mr John Walsh and his staff who are just so hospitable in welcoming us to um, their great school. I'd like also to mention the students from John Terry and from St John's at Nowra for their beautiful welcome to country. And I would like very much to thank the singers and musicians for the gift of their music. Thank you very much. Exactly two weeks ago tonight, the first chapter, or the first page in a new chapter in the life of our diocese was written uh, with the ordination of Bishop Brian Mascord. And Bishop Brian, on behalf of our Catholic education community, I want you to know tonight how welcome you are. As I have said to you on a number of occasions since your ordination, the education community stands ready and willing to support you, to encourage you, and to help you work with you to bring to life your hopes and dreams for the people of this great diocese. The Catholic education community of this diocese warmly welcomes you, and we might show that tonight. In the midst of Catholic Schools Week, we uh, come together tonight to celebrate who we are. We celebrate what we stand for, and as the bishop has challenged us tonight, we celebrate what we seek to become. Tonight we have the opportunity to ask ourselves a critical question as a community who believes in the joy and life of our church and our parishes and for us in particular Catholic education. In the complex and challenging and sometimes very confusing world of 2018, perhaps tonight I would ask of us individually and collectively as a diocese, for what do we wish to be known and why? Tonight we come together to celebrate a unity of purpose, a oneness, a sense of mission, a commitment, and an energy for the faith life, well-being, and growth of our young people. Across this world of ours, 61 million students are educated in Catholic schools. And our diocese, in some 46 schools, educates 26,000 of these young people. 26,000 young people, some desperately in need in so many different ways, needing us who sit here tonight to be very clear, crystal clear, as to what exactly it is that we stand for. Catholic schools do great things and we celebrate that tonight. But perhaps like never before, again in the words of our bishop, because he used the word tonight, Catholic educators need to be known for courage and simply for not being afraid. The complex world of 2018 can leave many of us with reasons to be very clouded with uncertainty and even fear. We have a world that's troubled with the fear of fanaticism, 
a world that's confused by absolutely faulty ethical conduct, a world of cynicism and sarcasm and conflict, and a society sometimes divided. And for us, a church under fire, rightly so, but seeking forgiveness and renewal and relevance in this world of 2018. All good reasons for uncertainty and confusion for many. If as adults we experience that, what of our young people? For this community of Catholic educators, we have a very good reason to reject fear. And again, the bishop said it tonight. That reason for rejecting fear is found in the good news message of the Gospels. And that is what tonight is really all about. This is a very messy world for our 26,000 young people, but we are called to help them to live and to grow and to thrive in amidst the messiness and to not fear it. Barack Obama, the former president of the United States, often used two very powerful words. He would often urge those around him to choose yes. Choose yes. To which he would then add, and do not be afraid. Be not afraid. Perhaps the most commonly used phrase in scripture. President Obama once wrote that education is not about legislation, it's not about rules, and it's not about regulations. It's about simply being a positive influence for good. So choose yes. Perhaps tonight then, we add in this celebration, and be not afraid. Catholic educators are called to break out of the bubble that fear can lock us into, and to remove that same bubble for our young people, and to not be afraid. We are called to educate by our witness and our presence, not by our absence and to not be afraid. We are called to sometimes feel very uncomfortable within the world that we live as Christians, as Catholics. So let's be uncomfortable and be not afraid. We are called to be a church that absolutely refuses to circle the wagons whilst under fire. And so let us not be afraid. We are called to set high standards for our young people in all that they think and all that they do and to not be afraid. We are called to feel okay about sometimes failing, but to reject not even trying and to not be afraid. We are called in each of our staff rooms to speak up constantly for what is right and to not be afraid. The scriptures carry that message very clearly. Mark writes, quoting Jesus, take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Matthew writes, get up and do not be afraid. And so in this school year, with the leadership and guidance of our new bishop, what about we be that community that rejects negativity and fear? How about in 2018, we decide to stand counter to that culture? Let's remember that each child, each one of those 26,000 young people may have but one chance, one, and each of you holds that in your hands. So be not afraid. 
that each of our schools and all of our teachers restore teaching that is inspirational and powerful and fearless. Let us remember that to succeed we will need each other. We'll need to depend on each other and that need is not a weakness. It is simply to need. St John Bosco once said that the music of the young should be listened to with the heart and not just the ears. So perhaps we need to develop really positive attitudes about the heart and how we see it. One of the well-known quotes in relation to courage is that it's the simple absence of fear, but more importantly, it goes on to say that it's about facing our fears and defeating them, but to stop by deciding that something else is more important than fear. Well, these 26,000 young people, the children and these young people, they are more important than our fears. So let us as Catholic educators commit to choosing yes and rejecting fear, inspired by the Holy Spirit. And may we act this year in our classrooms and in our playgrounds and wherever else we are with our young people, may we act with bravery. Bravery defined as the ability to look fear in the face and say to it, get out of the way. Tonight, in a moment, I have for each of you a, a small keepsake of our Mass this year. It's my hope that you might find it helpful um, and encouraging uh, and reflects the profoundly important work that you do. And I join with our Bishop in thanking you very much for what you do each day for these young people. And so I wish each of you a fulfilling, enriching and life-giving school year. As I too, like you, will join in that commitment and will seek in all things that matter most to us as a Catholic community to be not afraid. I thank each of you for being here tonight and for your wonderful participation in this great celebration of who we are and what we do. Thank you very much.